Purina Puppy Chow. Tender and crunchy with real beef and rice. Building blocks of puppy and nutrient shun, growing muscles, happy tummy, sharp mind, immune health. Essential nutrients like those found in mother's milk. Dog food review. So I was at the Super Walmart in Laurel this weekend. The fucking owls was like eight feet tall. So, you know, whenever I'm in the store, I always try to grab some kind of dog food here and there. Mainly just a cheap, cheap, low grade puppy food because the, the dogs will eat up everything. And before you know it, you'll run out and you might need something to give them to hold them over till you can get to the meat store. Also, when feeding meats and when having puppies, you need a puppy food. You can't just give them meat. You can't just give them raw when you're dealing with a puppy because you're not a scientist. And this stuff right here may be garbage, but basically scientists, you know, did a lot of studies to make sure that the dogs can get what they need. And this is one of those things, you know, it's a hell of a mess to clean up, but just as long as you don't overfeed them too much or give them too much of this, you be all right. And um, we feed, we feed a mixture. Basically, we feed cornmeal, corn flour, and we uh, cook it with some kind of meat. And we also use uh, soy oil, soybean oil mixed with olive oil to add on weight and give them that omega-3s. And that's what we feed. And then we also give them this um, in between each meal here and there because they they're still hungry a lot of the times so i know that was a lot and this you know wasn't straight up about the review oh well we get into the review one thing about this food is soft so it's like tender and meaty so it's got a soft texture so i don't know if that means it has a little bit more moisture or what but it's it's a little bit more softer and it has a sweeter smell so i'm assuming I'm assuming that that will make it digestible. So right there, you hear it. Highly digestible, formulated for developing digestive system. So, I mean, I got to believe in when they say that. They say DHLA helps support the brain and vision. 30% more protein helps keep up with a puppy's everyday growth. And then it says antioxidants like vitamin C to help build immune systems. So this is what they studied and found and put in the food. And it also says right here, for your puppy's first full year, 100% uh, complete balance. So let's, let's get into the ingredients. Let's get into the ingredients. I'm sorry if this is a little noisy. I'm sorry if this ain't A1. But you get what you get. You want to get my take on it? I'm going to give it to you. So one, you see whole grain corn. Um, that's good because obviously they're using a the whole grain corn. They're using it um, specifically for these dogs. They're not, it's not a byproduct. Next, you got this corn gluten mill. So that is um, somewhat, that is definitely a, uh, a byproduct but also it's supposed to be jam-packed with nutrients so the fact that they're using both it just that the first one is for carbohydrates and let's just say the second one is to raise the uh protein value next you got pro uh poultry byproduct meal the pro uh poultry byproduct meal has more protein than actual chicken and it's a byproduct because they're not using it. Um, it's the parts of the chicken that they ground up, you know, bone and ground up bone and cartilage, maybe some feet and beaks, stuff that people would actually feed their dogs in foreign countries. Foreign countries, they feed their dogs a lot of beaks and, you know, feet are like a good treat for dogs. So, I mean, it's poultry byproduct meal. I mean, what what do you want them to put in there? Chicken breast? 
Then next you got whole grain wheat. Whole grain wheat is going to give it more calories, more fiber, and a little bit more vitamins. Next you got beef preserved with mixed tocopherols. So this beef is basically beef fat. You know, that's a preservative that they used to use uh, from way back in the days. Um, and they used to cook with the beef fat and whatever. Now we use hydrogenated margarine and shit that'll kill you. So you got the uh, beef fat, which is good because beef fat actually put more weight on a dog than a chicken fat. Then next you got ground rice. Um, You got soybean meal, I mean. Soybean meal is good. It's a, sh a short link protein that's easily digested by most dogs and stops the dogs from having allergies, the dogs that have chicken allergies and different allergies. I don't, I don't know about that. I never had an issue with that. If you got allergies, you got to go. Ground rice. Um, it's another whole grain. Another whole grain um, rice, you know. So that's another carbohydrate that they're putting in there. Um for carbs and next you got meat and bone meal meat and bone meal it could be anything it could be any ground up animal from anywhere and then next you got beef so um you got more beef then you got glycerin which is i think uh some kind of sugar you got egg and chicken flavor that could be anything that could be anything synthesized or mixed. Next, you got poultry and pork digest. I forget what this is. I forget what, what this is, man. Matter of fact, let me pull it up real quick, man, while y'all wait. Let me, I got my, my, uh, got my damn tablet right here, but it's dead. Seems to be dead. Great. That's very great. So you got this pork and chicken digest. I believe that's something with the stomach. And then next you got the fish oil. Um, you got the fish oil and you got the soybean oil. So both of those are going to provide, uh, provide your omega-3s and 6s. Next you got zinc sulfur, sulfate. You got... Calcium, iodine, eight, sodium, lithium, vitamin E, supplement, niacin, vitamin three, vitamin A, calcium, um, panthonate, vitamin B five, uh, pyrodoxine, hydrochloride, salt, vitamin B six, vitamin B twelve, supplement, thenamine. B1, B2, D, riboflavin, supplements, blah, 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 blah. And you got DHL methane. I mean, methine, methinonine, some shit. So that's like uh, some shit for the brain. You got a whole bunch of vitamins, you know. It's jam-packed with vitamins, man. What I would say about this ingredients, man, is jam-packed with a bunch of fucking grains but then next you got a bunch of fucking meats so it's like half grains half meats man you can't really you know you can't complain i mean it's gonna be a hell of a cleanup but you know your dog's gonna get all the vitamins it needs so you want to give some of this and then you know cook for your dog so next we will get into the 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 protein you got 27.5 percent guaranteed analysis so if it says 27.5 it's probably 30 percent protein because they got to give you a guaranteed analysis not what they actually have they're just giving you what you know maybe they take four four uh measurements and then average out the numbers then you got crude fat 12 percent um we definitely at cubian channel say you want to get that 12% fat up to about 8, 18 to 20% fat. Um, Hey, you got 12%, man. That's what you got. That's what they formulated. 
So that's what you get. Then next you got the iron and the vitamin A and the vitamin E and ascorbic acid, 70 milligrams. So you got the li uh, linolic acid, which is what I call, you know, your omegas, threes and sixes, and you only got 1.1%. So they don't want it to be too high. They didn't make it high. You know, hey, I don't know why. I don't know why they do everything they do. But I do know that they do a lot of research into this dog food, man. It's been around for years and years and years. Um, so next we'll get into let's get into the calories, man. Let's get into the calories and the feeding instructions, man. I'm sorry about that, the way that looks so I think I already know what calories it is in this anyway, but I'm trying to figure out. Okay, here we go. Ooh, 387 calories per cup. Yeah, that's pretty high. That's almost 400 calories. Let's just say that the dog can probably use 300 out of this 387. So you're looking at a nice amount of calories. For a 100-pound dog, you probably want to give one, two, three, four, damn near five cups of this shit, which we'll never do. We always see less than what the ingredients say. So let's look at feeding instructions. And let's go down here to breed size at weight of maturity. So if your dog is going to be a 100 pounds, and this is something that I had a customer that got a puppy from me needs to understand. And you all guys understand. So some of the instructions are for dogs' actual weight. And so you, you if you were going by a dog's actual weight, you would go, his dog was like 21 to 50 pounds. So he would go by this, three pounds, three cups, two and a half cups. But if you see here, it says, Breed size at maturity, which means how much is your dog going to weigh at maturity? Not what your dog weighs right now. So if your dog is going to weigh 100 pounds or over 100 pounds, which mine, most of the mine that I just left out will be over 100 pounds. You want to feed, this shit says 10 cups plus a day. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Oh, this is at the bumps. So, okay, depending on the weight of your dog at maturity and then the age of your dog. So his dog is right here. So it says that you could feed three and a half cups. Bullshit. If you give one of my dogs three and a half cups of this, it'll swallow this in a second. So, you know, you might want to go to this one and it just says three and a half cups um, and a half a cup for each percent body pound over 100. Yeah, this is can be a little misleading. If you were to go by these instructions based on one of my dogs, your dog is going to be underweight. So this these structures can be pretty misleading except for when you get up to the older age at the older age they want you to give your dog 10 cups plus if you give a dog 10 cups of dog food come on man you know how much shit that is i don't think you know that's like a shovel a large shovel full of shit twice a day i would never give a dog that much dog food 10 cups i'm i don't know how many cups is in this bag but it can't be more than 30 cups, you know, and that will be three days worth of dog food in the bag. So it's something mysteriously wild going on with this shit, this bag. But what I'll say is, you know, it's a good dog food when you got a puppy, something you can grab at Walmart. But you, you definitely want to make your own dog food and just give a dog, no matter the age or size, one cup a day two cups a day or three cups a day and then feed meat so i'll do my own feeding analysis if you have a puppy that's 
50 pounds, you can give the puppy two cups of this, two pieces of chicken a day. Or if you have a 100 pound dog, you can give that dog three cups of this a day, three pieces of chicken, or two cups, two chickens, and some kind of gravy with some kind of meat on it. That's just my take on how you use this food is you definitely want to mix it. My Connie Corso does not want to eat it, but she's going to eat it because she's got puppies and she needs these nutrients. But what I'll say is, man, look, dog food is all garbage, but it's all the way, it's all about a tool, how you use each tool in your shed. And, you know, oh, it actually has some garlic oil in it, okay. So it's another little key ingredient, man. Um, what I'll say, you know, some people just feed this only to their dogs. And if you're just gonna feed this only, hey, get some oil, pour a little oil into it, a little uh, olive oil, two teaspoons of olive oil, and maybe uh, get you some coronation milk, add two or three ounces of coronation milk to it. You know, jazz it up, man, do something. If you really poor and you really don't have no money, Get you a get you five dollars, you know, and get you a can of dog food, uh, some oil, and you know, a can of milk, and just put a little bit of extra fresh nutrients in there. Don't just give them this shit, cause if you give your dog ten cups of damn dog food, yo, you gonna be sorry. I've never even tried that before, but. Definitely not giving the dog. I got 100-pound dogs in here. I got, like, three of them. And I ain't giving them no 10 pounds, 10 cups of no damn dog food. But I can't really rate this dog food for y'all. I'll just say it's cheap. But it damn sure got that meat in it. It got that, that beef. It got, the, hold on, let's count the meats. You got the poultry broad product meal. You got the beef fat. You got beef. You got meat and bone meal. So you got four types of beef. And then you got the pork digest. I'm gonna look that up. I don't know what the fuck that is. I think that's the stomach or something. But hey, they definitely some technology into this food and your dog can thrive off of it. You just gotta know how to add a couple of key ingredients to this food.